welcome back. Today is the day where I talk about the internet made me buy it and if I like it or dislike it. So let's get started. I will first start with the e.l.f. It is the illuminating palette. I love it. It is very inexpensive. It's got the mirror and it's got the four colors, the banana, the light kind of brown kind of color and this one's more of a it's got like a purple and then the dark brown here for good contouring or bronzing if you choose and they're all matte so for people who like matte like me um, unless I'm highlighting and having illuminating then this is perfect. I love it. And like I said, it's very inexpensive. I mean, it's comparable to any other um, illuminating palette that has, you know, the banana and all those three colors in it. Next, I will I'll stick with the powders. This is the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. Okay. I found, I did not like this. I wanted to. It comes with a little sponge, but I don't like the sponge. I like the, you know, the soft ones. It has a mirror, which is good, but it's more of just a powder. It's not, it's not a foundation. I put it on and it acts just like a pressed powder would. And I mean, it says, flat powder foundation so when i see that i think powder foundation you know powder to foundation on your face this does not do that it is i don't know it just does not do that and i i, I don't know this isn't creamy natural it just goes on like a regular press powder one it doesn't cover up anything it doesn't you know, and it doesn't even blend that well, so this one's a thumbs down. Another palette that I really, really love is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Now, for us hooded eye people, we live for matte eyeshadows because that is what helps us create that crease so our eyes don't look hooded so, because if you don't use matte and say i was going to use shimmer it would draw attention to the hood rather than take away from the hood so this does the perfect dimension to disguise your hood and that is exactly what we need and check out these colors they are awesome awesome colors I just love that color there and i love i just love them all and I mean, here, let me swatch. <gasps> I just tipped my finger, literally tipped my finger on it. And it just, oh, so buttery. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I, like, you gotta see this. Like, look, you saw how light I did that. Like, this is amazing. It's an amazing palette. Um, very inexpensive. Uh, it says, our radiant bronze paradise eye and cheek palette features nine matte and shimmer shadows, plus a highlighter and a bronzer that glide on smoothly and create a variety of glamorous everyday to exotic looks. And it's true. This is gorgeous, so if you can get your hands on one of these, I would definitely recommend it. Definitely. I am going to talk about, which is something I talked about the other day, was the uh, Gerard Cosmetics Star Powders. They are, I have three different kinds, and that's the one, it has a mirror. That's the one where I was telling you about that has this. I'll insert a card up here for the video that I did that. And I think it was either the video I did yesterday or the day before. And these are highlighters. Okay. I'm just going to take a look at that. And then put it on my skin. 
Can you see that? Oh. And they're all like that, guys. They're all. This one's called Audrey. This one is called Grace. They're very kind of similar. And this one you'll see is darker and it is called Lucy. And they're all pigmented like that and they are fantastic. I have two Audrey's because they had sent me a smashed one. And I mean it was, it was smashed. <laughs> so after I sent pictures and, you know, look at that, told them about it. Okay, oh my goodness, my arm. It's glowing. After I took pictures and showed them about it, they sent me another one and told me to keep this one. Throw it out or whatever. So you know me. I'm kind of on the frugal side. So I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to, and I YouTubed it for a bit, and I wanted to know how you can uh, fix a palette that's been broken. And all you have to do is use rubbing alcohol. So you get a bowl and you put the rubbing alcohol in with the powder. You mix it all up. Don't put like too much, like start off with, with little amounts. And then you put it back in here and squish it back in. And I usually get uh, like a cup or something that is the same size and use a, a paper towel and push with the cup. And then when you're done, you can close it and but you keep it open for 24 hours so all the alcohol can evaporate. And I got the palette, and this is the same as the Audrey one here. And I'll show you that. Yeah, mine's not as pretty. But, I mean, it still does the job. I mean, look at this. Right? I mean, it's still... My stupid lighting. It still does the job. I it's got. I mean, I I got it basically for free. So I mean, I'm, I made it myself. It's not as aesthetically pleasing as this one, but you know what? It still works, and I use it on myself. I would never have used it on anybody else. That's not what I have done. Last of the powder items is the. RCMA Makeup No Color Powder, which I did talk about in my other video that I inserted up there. And this stuff is amazing, okay? This stuff is better than the um, uh, Makeup Forever, the ELF, the, um, oh God, Benefit, uh, you name it, Ofra. This stuff is better than any of them. This does not leave your skin white. It does not make you look like a ghost. If you have highlight and bronzer, it does not take away from that. All it does is mattify the oily parts of your face and the rest, it just blends in. It doesn't, it just blends into your skin tone. It does not change your skin tone. If you have highlighted cheeks that are for the gods to see, you put this over top, it's not going to change that. I love this and it's not expensive. Um, I'm not sponsored by any of these guys. Sometimes wish I was. <laughs> uh, things are not cheap, but oh, I forgot to mention a little honorable mention here. Uh, I forgot to mention this in my Stila video yesterday, and this is my Stila. This is the second one I had. It's the number 34. And this is the one that I use. I'll just leave it in the bag. It's just got the little dents, and I use that where I'm patting the eyeshadow on my eyelid. This, I love this brush. So even Stila has a brush that I like. So you gotta say something for Stila, right? <laughs> this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I'm sure you've seen this on. Um, the internet, on YouTube, people doing their uh, tutorials on it. And you know what? I was skeptical at first, but when I put this on 
my face and I was rubbing it all in after I had makeup on and eyes and mascara and you name it. I was rubbing it and my goodness, I rinsed my face and then I did my normal three-step cleanser and my when I went to tone my face, there was nothing. Not one speck of color on my toner pad. Nothing. It took everything off, so I am very, very impressed with this. Um, I would highly recommend it to anyone who wears a lot of makeup, uh, especially because, oh my goodness, it, it just took everything off. It's like everything just melted off my face. It was pretty impressive. Uh, next, what I got here, and I'm not really impressed with, um, I got, I have, this is the second one I have. I have one that's opened. Um, I'm not sure where I got the second one from, but it's from Soap and Glory, and it's their Super Color Sexy Mother Pucker um, with Super Fill Technology Lip Plumping Gloss. Um, I used this, and it just did not do anything for me. It didn't, it had a little tingle, and it gave a little bit of the brown, um, kind of bronzy tint, but it really didn't do anything for me. I, I, I wouldn't repurchase it again, that's for sure. Speaking of lips, <laughs> what I have on my lips now, of course, has to match my shirt. <laughs> and I have this kind of, uh, I don't know, what color am I wearing? I'm wearing Ecstasy Hydra Matte from Gerard Cosmetics. Um, this is the doe foot applicator, and it is a very, very pretty color. I love it. It's got like a little hint of purple, and it's just kind of like very, very pretty. And it matches my shirt, of course. So that is another thing that the internet made me buy, and I love it. I love it. It's on my lips now. I hi in the corners, which is good. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Next in line, we have the Tarte Bunny Collection. And I have a couple of these because I am a huge, huge fan of uh, Graveyard Girl, AKA Bunny Meyer. And this is the Tarte Lip Paint. One is in Texas Toast and the other is in um, Swamp Family Red. I like them. Uh, but I don't really care for the formula because it does gather in the corners like I showed you yesterday. It gathers there and I don't know. The formula just isn't my favorite. But I have them because I am a fan of Bunny and her channel. And I will link her um, channel at the end of my video if you want to check out one of her videos because I, she's awesome, she's very inspirational, and um, I just love her. <laughs> uh, this is the Urban Decay Bobbi Dazzle Met Met Metalized Lipstick. Um, I got it because it was really, really sparkly white. This is throwing off my white balance, I know. <laughs> and when I put it on, you're probably not going to see this. Oh yeah, look at that. Something so simple you can see right there. And you put it on your lips and it's absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. And it doesn't make my lips feel gross or dry or anything. It's just, it's really nice. And that's by Urban Decay. So Another thing that I was not really caring for is the Hello Light Cream Luminizer from IT Cosmetics. First of all, this is how it came. They would not, I, it came from the shopping channel and they would not take it back. It was broken there too. So I was not impressed. I did not ever order anything from the shopping channel, so I'm not quite sure. But I contacted them, even consider taking it back and I'm like, well, whatever, fine. I'm just never going to order from you guys again. I don't, I don't know. 
I looked at my statement and I saw some funky number and it was probably them. But I just didn't want to argue with them, so now let me turn it, push it down. Now it's all over the place. So yes, I would not repurchase this again. It is messy and um, I've actually seen some reviews. I rev went to watch some people who um, have this and there's people who liked it, but there's also people who didn't. So, And one more lips thing is the uh, Mint Juleps Lip Scrub from Lush Cosmetics. I love this stuff. It smells really good. It's kind of minty um, on the lips. It really gives your lips that clean, um, kind of refreshed feeling. So I would definitely um, uh, repurchase this again. My last two products. This is the It Cosmetic Bye Bye Lid Lines. I thought this would be perfect because I do have the uh, I showed you the thin lids from using metamethasone on my eyes. So I thought, oh, well, this might help because it's bye-bye lid lines, and that's exactly what I have. Well, <laughs> I can't even get a decent amount of this stuff for one. And it mostly more looks like it's a highlighter than anything else right here. And it did nothing for my lid lines but make them look even worse. So I would not recommend this. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, this is the V Variable. There's a space there. I don't know if it's supposed to be V Variable or Variable. No, it's supposed to be V Variable Y. Variable Y. Uh, fibroin essence effective to the skin with water becomes soft and white. It is a eyelash serum. You put on your eyelashes to make them grow. Um, it's just like a clear, smellless, scentless stuff. But I got this off of um, uh, AliExpress. And it was very inexpensive, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> My eyelashes are still as sparse and short as ever. So, I mean, for the couple bucks I spent on this, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't repurchase it. <clears throat> so that is that, guys. That is my, the internet made me buy it. What I liked and what I didn't like. I hope you liked this video. Check out Graveyard Girls video here and check out my last video here and please subscribe and I hope you have a great day and I will see you on my next video. Love you guys. Keep smiling. Bye.